I want to install the SQL Server uh, Management Studio and Profiler in here. So I go and go ahead and put my SQL Server installation CD in my drive in here. Oh, it's a DVD. And I can go down here, uh, and that's my SQL Server in here. So what I'm going to run my setup, SQL Server installation of the management studio is quite complex. It goes through many, many different things in here. Um, but basically you click on the installation in here and then you say you want a new new installation or add features to an existing one. The management studio from 2008 can actually manage 2005 SQL Server 2008 and 2008 R2 uh, in here. So. Uh, there's no reason to install a management studio of Mats the SQL Server. You can use the latest one if you have license to it, of course, in here. And um, I'll go ahead here and accept the terms and install it in here. It takes a while and there's a lot of screens you have to go through, but basically you're just clicking next, next, next almost all the time, except when you select the features in here that I'll get to uh, in a few minutes. So it passed all the tests in here. I want to uh, SQL Server feature install. And I now can select the list. And what you want to do here is the management tools. And you want to ensure that you do the complete, because the complete one is actually where the profiler is that is going to be used for recordings. So uh, I will then click Next. And I'm now getting ready to actually install it after clicking this next many, many times.
the SQL Server management tools has now been installed, so if I go close it here, and I don't need this one any longer either, I can go right here, uh, SQL Server, and I have the management studio down here. I can connect to my server with Windows authentication. I can see my NAV database. The other thing is I can use the SQL profiler. Again, just connect with Windows Authentication. Um, I'm not a sysadmin right now, so I can't actually do that one. Um, that's another thing that needs to be fixed for NAV anyway. Uh, to be able to actually add users, you need to be sysadmin. Uh, so if I go here to security and logins, I'll see I have my login down here. And if I actually look at properties and server roles, I'll click myself as a sysadmin down here. That basically gives me all permissions uh, in the system. So, uh, And again, I can't do it because I'm currently not. I can't take something that I don't own in here. So I get an error. So what I actually need to do is run this one. Instead of running it as me, I actually need to run it as an administrator. So I right-click on my SQL Server, and then I say run as administrator in here. And it looks the same, um, except now I runs with uh, the privileges of the administrator. So I can now go into this user and say that this user is actually a sysadmin. And then uh, I can now uh, go and actually uh, do the trace. So this one was because I ran it as administrator, I could do that one. So now let's start the SQL profile. Do a trace as uh, this user, and I can now have the user actually trace in here. So let's just let this run for a little while, because I want to go in to NAV and actually add a user in here. And since I'm now sysadmin, I should not have any issues with it. So I'll go in and add a Windows login, and I created some here that I call Susan. And I can go in and give Susan uh, the user uh, of the super role in here and uh, I will be able to uh, run the functions to synchronize all logins and things like that one uh, against this service tier because I'm a sysadmin uh, at that time. But you need to run it and do it from the SQL Management Studio as an administrator to give yourself those permissions. And I can see all the transactions that went in here now in the profiler. So the profiler is ready, set up for running, um, and I can do everything from in here.